Now, of course, we have full control over how we can upload files. We have the ability for the user to clear a file very easily. We have uh, the ability to shrink images on upload. So this doesn't actually shrink the image. It just uploads the file to the CDN and then gives you a URL back. We have things like cropping and we'll look at the mobile layout as well. That's really important. So if a user is uploading from a mobile or a smaller device. OK, so first of all, let's just head over to the documentation. I'd highly recommend you come over and look at these options as well. Of course, we're not going to cover everything, but we're going to cover what I generally consider to be the most important things and the things that you'd probably use the most. So different sources then. We know that when we click choose a file here, we have all of these sources. But of course, you might want to limit this to some extent. So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple of ways that we can define the options. So if we just head over tabs, which is the upload sources, you can see that if we scroll down, we have these just here. So we know the names of them at least. And what we can do is either globally or locally define these options. So it's really up to you how you do this. Now you've already seen me use some of the global variables just up here. But of course, what we can do is locally do these here as well. Now, it really depends on your needs. If you have different requirements for different upload buttons, then you'd want to define them locally just here. Otherwise, if you're saying to yourself, well, I really never want to allow, say, to upload on any of these except a link or a drag and drop upload or choosing a local file, then you can go ahead and define this globally. So for the purpose of this, let's just define this globally. So we just simply pull over this global and in here we just choose what we want so for example if we only wanted URL and file we just go ahead and define this here and when we go ahead and choose it again you can see that we only have two of these just here so you'll notice that the order of this is important as well if we just change this around to file and URL you can see that the order changes so that's really nice as well it's a nice touch and kind of gives you the ability to put the uh, one that you want as a priority or one that you probably prefer as a priority. So again, really straightforward. If you check out the documentation, it's pretty obvious that you can do this. So the other thing I like is the ability to clear the image. So let's just jump over to the top and we'll go over to the general configuration here. And you can see if we just go down, we have things like clearable. So we can set this as a global or as a local using a data attribute. So for example, if we wanted just this one to be clearable, we just say data clearable and we set that to true. So all this is going to do is when we do drag a file over, you can see that we just have the ability to remove it. Pretty straightforward and we can just cancel it. Saves the user having to maybe refresh the page if they don't want the profile image in there and really just enhances the user experience. So again, that's a really simple option and there's tons of things down here that you can do. So definitely check out the documentation. Now, going on to some slightly more advanced things like image shrinking. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more about this later when we speak about the Upload Care Content Delivery Network, but we're now gonna cover things like image shrinking and cropping. So if we go to say manual crop in the manual, you can see that what we can actually do is define this here. So for example, data crop. So let's just pull this in now. So data crop. So by default, this will be disabled. But what we can do is allow for a free crop or we can choose an aspect ratio or size. So let's say, for example, we wanted to check out what free cropping can do. Well, if I go and upload a fairly large picture, what I can actually do now is rather than that just being uploaded, you see I dragged it over, but now we see crop and add this image. We can actually just freely crop this. There's no constraint. We can just choose any portion of this image. Now what's gonna happen is when we hit done, that's gonna go ahead and upload the file. But when we hit save, notice that this has been appended onto the URL that we saw before. So whereas before it was just the UUID, now we have some additional options. And this is the point. This is the content delivery network doing this on the fly. So if we pull this over now, you can see that that crops to exactly the region 
that I chose when I uploaded. So this is really awesome because it means that you are uploading the whole file. You're not actually cropping it and uploading the cropped version. If you just go ahead and get rid of this last part, we get the original image. So again, we'll cover some of these options a little bit later, but just so you know, that's exactly what's happening. So for shrinking, for example, let's go over to the uh, documentation again and let's search for shrink. So shrink images before uploading. This is slightly different. So we can see here, sometimes you don't need high resolution original images to be uploaded. At the same time, sending large images can be expensive or too slow for the user. So what this will do is it will shrink it before it's uploaded. So that's different from what we saw earlier. So let's see how this works then. We use the data image shrink property. So let's get rid of cropping just for now, but of course you could combine them. Data image shrink. Now let's say we want a maximum, let's make it quite small because that image that I'm uploading is actually quite small. And let's go back and drag this over. There we go, hit save. You can see there's no difference in this URL. So I'm not actually using the properties of the content delivery network. But if we paste this in, you can see it's significantly smaller. So you've got to be really careful about this. If you um, say have a preferred size, that's great. But keep this relatively big so you can manipulate it later. But obviously be wary if users are uploading very large files, uh, it's probably going to be a bad experience for them waiting for that image to upload. Although it is very fast uploading say a megabyte, a megabyte and a half file size with uh, upload care is really quick anyway. So that's pretty cool. We've looked at the difference between these two. And really the good thing about this is the content delivery network. So when we come back to that later, we will see exactly how that works. The last thing I wanna look at though in this part is the mobile uh, layout. So what we do is when we do work with a mobile layout anyway, we obviously have our meta tag just here. So if you're not sure about this, basically this will just uh, set an initial scale and basically allow uh, on a smaller device, it will allow this to nicely scale and respond. So what happens then when we go ahead and open this on a desktop or a very large layout? Well, it looks like this, pretty straightforward, really easy to use. But when you are viewing this on a smaller device, you can see here we get a really nice layout. So imagine you're on your phone or a very small device. You have the option to pick one of these. So local files, for example, you can choose a local file as normal. And of course, this will just look like it will uh, on a mobile device, depending on the kind of operating system or browser that you're using. And again, just really easy to navigate. We can just go ahead and choose whatever exit off if we want and it just works really nicely. So if you are playing around with this and you're thinking about integrating it into your site, check it out on a mobile. I've checked it out already on mine and it does look and work really well. Okay, so we've covered some of the options, but more interestingly, we wanna go ahead and look at things like customization. So we wanna look at customizing this button. We wanna look at customizing this little circle here. We can do that all with CSS. And then lastly, we're gonna look at the content delivery network and how we can really just adjust the images in the best way possible. So let's jump over to styling. We're gonna look at styling this button and also the upload circle. 